And we're live. Welcome to Sprint 39. Uh, uh, we have so many, uh, so many things to get into. So let's let's just dive in. Uh, gotta close this and share screen. Uh, the the biggest, uh, you know, we switched everything up in the common stack. Uh, it's in our scheduling, which is really fun. Uh, I really like this because now we actually we used to do our review calls before our retrospective, but now we have basically this one hour slot every day where we do all of our meetings. Uh, it's really convenient, actually. It's like 7 a.m. for me. Uh, we do all of our calls now. And so we actually do our, we did our retrospective before the review call, which is so nice. Uh, we do this every sprint. It, uh, it's kind of a what went well, what can we do better and what actions can we improve? Uh, obviously you're going to see all the things that went well, because we're going to talk about it in this call. There's always things that could, that we could do better. Uh, but uh, the the biggest thing is we gotta we we gotta take one action every sprint and pull it in the next sprint. Tam does an incredible job at keeping us all organized with this. And for this sprint, the big one is prioritizing funding. So if you have any ideas on how we can Common Stack can prioritize funding and any funding opportunities that you think we should prioritize, definitely reach out uh, and and we're gonna do it because that's our mission this sprint. Uh, in other news, also we uh, the Common Stack DAO, uh, which we don't talk too much about, but uh, there is an effort to uh, tear to bring apart Trusted Seed and Common Stack DAO more officially. And uh, the Common Stack DAO has its snapshot up. Uh, we use the Trust Token for governance, and uh, we're we just we're testing quadratic rank choice voting, and it's all working fine. So that's exciting. We're going to use this for the for the runoff for the commons prize. And the, in other big news, the trusted seed it, uh, had its first, had a, a, a big general assembly. It wasn't its first general assembly, but his first big public general assembly. And uh, we made some major moves. Uh, we have are officially, we voted 30 votes uh, with one abstain to officially change our name from the common stack association to the trusted seed. Uh, so that way we'll be able to better differentiate the common stack DAO and the trusted seed. Uh, we also officially moved down the street. Uh, the legal seat has moved from Zug to Zurich, uh, mostly for financial reasons. It was a little cheaper to manage an address in Zurich, uh, 29 votes to one. Uh, and I think there were a few extra votes that happened during the thing, but we used POAP vote, which is such a cool tool because the trusted seat is a one person, one vote uh, uh, association. So we use POAP votes. So every so one person with one vote could actually vote. Whereas the Common Stack DAO uh, has like is more of a DAO style uh, token weighted voting. Uh, so and then the big thing the big thing is the Trusted Seed board has grown. Uh, it was a pr pretty unanimous to add three new members to the board. We got Ivy officially was added to the board. Max. Uh, also, uh, and the two at the end had fewer votes because it was like last minute. They're like, we want to be on the board too. Uh, so Max got added to the board, as did Letty, uh, which is great because now we have a lawyer on the board, uh, which which is really helpful. Uh, and yeah, and there's so much more, of course. Uh, I'm so excited for Tam to talk about the Commons Prize and all the other things. So take it away, Tam. Cool. Uh, and I'm also excited to talk about the Commons Prize. But just before I do that, uh, one of the favorite things that we have to share is when we have new contributors. And I'd like to introduce Rachel, who is a new contributor to Common Stack. Uh, she's a project manager and will help us in uh, developing our services, praise, and Commons deployments. And uh, she's on our call today, so we'll have a chance to introduce herself in a few moments. Okay, Commons Prize updates. So. There is just um, 48 hours left to vote. So uh, the vote will end on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. New York time, so EST, uh, 6 a.m. CET, uh, uh, Monday morning. So Sunday night is the last chance to vote. Um, we have the next round will start on May 25th and it will be the finalists and uh, the prize, the winner will be awarded uh, on the 31st May, the 1st of June. So um, we have uh, recorded a bunch of videos 
to help uh, the trusted seed choose the nomination that they want to vote for. Um, the last one was really, really sweet, and it felt more like a fireside chat than a party. There was Will from Grassroots Economics, Joseph from Precious Plastics, Grayal from Tojo, and Chris from Open Cultivars. Um, Grayal and Chris made a surprise uh, proposed merge of their nominations, and they'll be going to be posting it on the Commons Prize channel on our Discord. So please uh, hop on there if you want to know more about uh, merging nominations. And um, you can uh, find the latest videos. They uh, will be up uh, by the time you watch this video uh, under the videos link to see all of the Commons Prize voting parties that we have. Um, we have had two withdrawals since the opening of this, uh, of the Commons Prize, one from Banting Dao um, and one from Colonels. Um, the, the last one from Colonels um, was uh, the community evaluated that their short-term mission is to raise funds immediately, like today. So uh, they are going to bow out of the nomination in order to allow their votes to go to other nominations. Uh, and who deserves funding more than Colonel Dow? They provide a cool public service for Web3 by onboarding people into Web3 in like a healthy and ethical way. I want to hand it to Osama for being such an excellent PM on the Commons Prize. He isn't able to join today because he's having electricity issues in uh, the building he's in today. And then I just want to do sort of a recap for uh, the Commons deployment. Uh, it's about, it's four phases. And in each phase, there's a number of modules. And um, this is the uh, project will kick off with the community that wins. And currently, we have grassroots economics. Oh, let me refresh. We have grassroots economics in first place. Um, and then followed by them, I think Gravity Dow is number in second place, Precious Plastics, the AI Commons, Algo Vera, Refi Dow, All for Climate, Bread Chain Commons. To Dow and monopolized thera uh, therapies comments and sort of the long tail at, at the end as well. Uh, some news from Token Engineering Commons. So the Stewards Council um, this week was around the working group Sampo, who is focused on the financial health revenue models, um, austerity or uh, frugality. And uh, there was a really good discussion or a presentation by Gideon a uh, polis poll that he introduced to the TEC, which is a new tool that I think we're gonna fall in love with, and um, discussion around uh, how we should view and uh, react to the commons pool um, being deleted by our funding and not having exactly clear revenue streams for the TEC yet. Uh, there's also, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of proposals, the stewards working group three month proposal is also up on the the, um, the gardens for conviction voting, and um, we'll see how long that will take to pass. The funding will be for the month of May, so it'll be the, the first distribution, uh, the first week of June. And there's more about the proposal on the forum. And also on the forum, every uh, week, for the TEC publishes a working group weekly recap, which is all the things that the working groups presented on the community call, in case you missed it. And with that, I'll pass to Livia. Tabs, last in tabs. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> Let me share my screen. So we have a new book club and it started officially yesterday. We had a new meeting last week, but yesterday was the first chapter uh, going over it. And we have the amazing leadership of Anne Brody. So she's been collaborating with us in the case studies and uh, now she wants to get more involved with the common stack and uh, she was very happy to accept to lead the book club. So we're gonna meet weekly for 11 weeks. That is the duration of the book. We have 11 chapters. And this book is so important for us, for our progress as a, a commoners, as common thinkers. So, uh, Think Like a Commoner by David Bollier is, is very uh, aligned with Ostrom's work. There is so much synergy between their, their literature 
and is going to be very interesting for us to go deeper into this topic. So join the book club. And also another amazing incentive is that we have two partners for this book club. One is Regen Foundation. So the Common Stack has been has a, a partnership with Regen Foundation already. And uh, one of the initiatives we're promoting is this book club. So we are raffling 200 Regen tokens in the end of each session to a lucky participant. And, and it's just a, a point of intersection between our communities and incentivizing the engagement from the common stack to uh, the Regen foundation community and and also how much they also have been thinking about the commons and commons grounded economies and and also more in the land um in the in the local and grounded side of, side of things so that's very exciting and another partnership is with panvala so for governing the commons book club we already have a part had a partnership with panvala that we were receiving a grant. So it's the Panvala Activity Fund um, Award. And we submitted this time and we were also lucky to get it. So in the end of each session, we'll also be raffling a thousand pen tokens to another participant. So there will be two winners uh, in every book club. And it's just amazing to get paid to learn. And and then updates from the reward system. Uh, we caught up finally. We don't have more uh, praise from the past to quantify. We are up to date and we had this week of a break. So we didn't quantify any praise this week because we're going to start go bi weekly. And Quant 11 is opening on Friday uh, today. So for the first half of May. And the rewards for August. Uh, are incoming and the rewards for the period before were already distributed. So you can check out in the forum of the TEC and see all the details. And we also have a red analysis. So Jiwei, uh, Nugan and Christopher have been working in the red dashboard and um, there is a lot of progress with the graphs and the visualizations we've been able to have with the praise data. So this is the, um, the rating distribution, uh, just how the, the scales of value were different between participants because we can assign from zero to 144 for each praise. And then these were the rewards uh, received by everyone. So we have uh, Zeptimus in the as the lead here, and everyone uh, following through until the long tail. And then here in the yellow, you can see uh, the reward board, the reward, the rewards the reward board receive, and the rewards the quantifiers receive. So the green is the quantifiers, and yellow is the reward board. This one is wrong. I shouldn't be spiking there. And. This is also interesting. So another news is that we won't have, so this graph just shows the praise givers and the praise receivers and what are their interactions. So we won't have any more this big lumps for Mao Manu and Ivy who have been uh, transcribing the praise for a long time. So this was an amazing work they did and it served our community so much. But we are transitioning from this practice first to clean this data because moving forward, we'll be able to see this graph with the actual relationships that people were having between givers and receivers uh, without the transcribing noise. And also because the praise dish just has better quality when it's typed down in the chat. So yesterday we had the first experiment with that in the community call and it went well. A lot of people typed their praise and we'll continue to bring awareness to that. So yeah, soon we'll have more graphs and we're working on categories. So hopefully um, next call, there will be more uh, advancements to show in red, but the work they've been doing is just really amazing. And for uh, gravity, uh, the gravity DAO, 
gravity uh, gra graviton training is starting the third cohort of the graviton training in uh, May 24th, so next week. And it's going to be very interesting. There is a new shape for it this, this, this time. So there's still time to sign up. And with that, I'll pass to Ivy. Thanks, Lydia. Um, let me share my screen. All right, so um, it's, it's not working. Hello. Okay. okay. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, sprint thirty nine. So um, yeah, we call this sprint. Uh, we call this sprint um touch base because uh the phrase is uh touch base. It's uh thought to have some um relation to uh baseball where both runner and fielders have to touch base in order to be safe or record an out. So um in business it means to make contact or reconnect with someone briefly. So um, during the past sprint, um, we made contact with uh, a lot of um, uh, Commons Prize nominees during the voting parties, and also we made contact with the, uh, the trusted seed during the uh, General Assembly, because I think those are the uh, big uh, happenings in the, uh, in the Commons staff during the past sprint. So um, speaking of uh, General Assembly, uh, Griff already talked about the uh, decisions that were uh, that were uh, made during the assembly and uh, uh, during, so we held the assembly uh, last uh, Tuesday, uh, May uh, 17th, and um, we had like 24 participants uh, from the trustee and the, uh, yeah, and the uh, board members and the association. And then, um, so Griff shared some um, updates on the trustee, like the trust token and uh, the membership renewals and um, other changes in the, uh, in the, uh, association like the name, the legal seat, and the new board members. So after we had um, the votes from the uh, members, so um, we updated. Uh, Raphael updated the minutes of the meeting to incorporate all those um, updates, and we'll be sharing these minutes and make make it public so uh, trusted seat members can also uh, review them. And uh, we also made changes to the articles of the association, so it will be also available for uh, the trusted seat members. So that's from the General Assembly. And then uh, on, on the comm side, uh, during the past sprint, we were busy um, communicating all about the Commons Prize. Uh, Commons Prize. So we were uh, giving updates on the uh, announcing voting uh, schedules, voting party schedules, um, the uh, Commons Prize updates, and uh, yeah, and uh, voting parties, and all updates about the uh, nominations. Um, Osama has, be, uh, has been working on the content and yeah, we're reviewing together. And then, um, and then on the TEC, um, on the TEC Legal Working Group, so we already uh, published the content ownership agreement. So Teresa and uh, Wunju uh, created and drafted this uh, content. So the goal of this um, agreement is to uh, address the potential um, uh, content conflicts, how to avoid uh, those conflicts, and uh, to create an agreement that's fair for both um, the contributors and the TEC. And um, also on the legal side, um, we'll be, uh, we're planning to have a, a new format for one of our legal uh, calls every month. So we will have, uh, we're making plans for uh, making a uh, hosting an open legal uh, discussion where we will be inviting um, uh, legal experts uh, to talk about uh, legal topics around uh, token engineering and the Web3 space. So um, watch out for more. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be uh, sending out announcements if once we have all the details. So uh, stay tuned for that. And with that, I pass it to um, Eunice. Thank you, Ivy. Well, um, <clears throat> during this sprint for uh, the Commons Prize, we wanted to reach out all our trusted seat members. So we ran a, an amazing outreach campaign. Uh, Usama and I wrote to each trusted seat member to let them let them know important dates uh, to cast their votes in this first amazing 
run that is about to end. We have uh, two days to finish this first round to select the finalist for the common surprise. Um, also, let me share my screen. See, this one, yes. Also, we, um, we are communicating in our uh, Twitter. Uh, we are highlighting your amazing um, organizations in the Web3 ecosystem. So if you want to check out what we have uh, work so far and we have shared so far uh, with these uh, amazing com uh, communities, organizations that are really impact in the Web3 ecosystem, you should uh, check out our uh, hashtag CS Impact Orgs month in our Twitter. So you can really dive in and see and this uh, great community. Hey, they are doing it great in the ecosystem. <laughs> also, we're working in our uh, next edition um, or newsletter next edition, yes. And uh, this one is going to be great. But also we want to um, invite you to become guest writer for our newsletter. So the guidelines are here. Uh, we are going to share the, the link in the YouTube description, but also the invitation later. So you can share with us uh, quality content about um, the cultural or technical aspects that are related to Commons Stack. So the topics are here and the guidelines also are here. So you can check them out and share us your submit uh, by writing us uh, in this email communications at commonsstack.org. Mm, so yeah, that's uh, speaking about new things that are about the launch. <laughs> And about the trust seat, we have this amazing stats. We are now 353 members. We received eight applications and three more activations since the last, last sprint. The invitation is always to apply, to activate, and use your trust score to participate in the Commons Prize. That's the best way of getting involved in this amazing community. So go, apply, activate, and become a member of the Trusted Seed. So with this, I will pass it to Rachel. Welcome, Rachel. Hey, everyone. Thank you, Yini. Uh, first, I would like to apologize. I'm having a really bad cough, so I've kind of lost my voice. Um, my name is Rachel and um, I reside in Benin Republic. And if you don't know where Benin Republic is, it is a French country close to Nigeria. Um, I am the new project manager at Common Stack. I was formerly Tamara's personal assistant and I'm transitioning to the role of project manager at Common Stack. Uh, I do have a little background, very little background in project management, however, I, I still have a lot to learn. I know I have a lot to learn about project management, about common stack, and I'm learning every day. Uh, right now, Tamara and I are working on a new project about coordinating uh, the deployment praise, the deployment of praise to common stack. So we're currently working on that. That's my very first project. Um, I think, I think I've met almost everyone here on the team. Uh, if we haven't met, then as time goes on, we're going to meet. Thank you all for having me. Uh, I'm really excited about working here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think I'll pass it back to Griff. And I'll sling it to Tam for a special uh, okay. something that just happened. Yeah, so breaking news. Um, I want to share and maybe also thank um, Martin and Jahed for inviting me onto the uh, the Ownership Economy podcast. We had a really, really great discussion um, beyond state and market building ecosystems in the commons is the title. Uh, it was probably an hour long and we really had to like fight to keep it that long. At the end, we just kept talking and uh, Martin uh, suggested the third pillar, uh, a book by Raghuram Rajan, and I got it immediately, and it's been hard to put down. So I think that we have a lot in common with the folk at uh, 
the Ownership Economy podcast. Uh, so do listen to it. I think that uh, it might be entertaining for a lot of folk. And I'll pass back to Greg. Thank you so much, Tam. And thank you all for uh, enjoying our review call. There's, uh, you know, we always, uh, at the end, I always say this, but we oh, we get all the credit for the core Common Stack team is doing a lot of work, of course, but there's so much work being done by our community. So, uh, and who don't get to show their face on this call. So get ready for the long praise wrap. Uh, uh, first off, of course, praise Al Jean for transcribing all of these praises and working so hard behind the scenes on so many admin tasks. Praise Pedro for helping to set up the quadratic rank choice voting uh, for the Common Stack DAO. Praise Max and Letty for joining the board along with Ivy. Uh, praise Chris and Jeff for holding down the association for the last several months on their own. I really appreciate it. Glad you have a support now. Uh, praise Usama and uh, for all the cat herding and organization around the Commons Prize and just being a great project manager. Praise Will, Chris, Grayel, and Joseph for presenting at the very last voting party uh, that just happened right before this call. Uh, praise all the nominees who pushed to get a Commons. Okay, get ready for this. There's Kojak for the villagers comments. Praise Marco for the Web3 designers comments. Praise Alex for the ma ma matries. Praise Josh Fairhead for open team. Praise Gio uh, uh, Gio uh, Jogo, Jogo, I think it was, for Food Forest comments. Praise Jeremy and uh, uh, Jeremy and the gospel of change, so entertaining, uh, for liberating structures comments. Praise TB for Greens for Good. Praise Paul for the recovery and helping to earn DAP and NFT uh, assisted comments. Praise uh, Shift Shaper for Overweb. Chase, praise Jay Everett for Fable DAO. Praise Eric for Wellness DAO comments. Praise Thanur for Underground DAO. Praise Baba, uh, Babania uh, for nominating Grassroots Economics comments. And of course, Will. Uh, praise uh, Center for Collab Icon for the Infinite Game comments. Praise Newt. For alas, the cyber physical comments for open guitar. Praise Nick for the un unmonopolizable therapies comments. Praise YGG for AI for good AI comments. Praise the blockchain socialist for bread chain comments. Praise uh, Xavier for uh, all for climate DAO comments. Praise Metarishi for the decentralized arts comments. Praise Wonka for gravity DAO comments. Praise Herb Stefan. Uh, praise Herb Stephens for the reset. Uh, praise Nadim for Seeds Commons. Praise Sid Code for Kernel Commons. Praise Clueless.eth uh, for Refi Commons. Super cool one. Praise Meta Maximus for Impact NFT Commons. Praise John Ellison for the the just the normal regenerative finance DAO Commons, uh, not the not the Reef I Commons. But uh, yeah, praise Golden Age Guide for Save DAO. Praise Chris Burns for Open Cultivars Commons. Praise Grayel for the Toad DAO Commons. Praise Jack for uh, Precious Plastics. Praise Alex for the Recommon Commons. Praise Catalyst for 40 Acres. Praise Josh for XR Foundation. And praise Bonico for Green Pandora. Okay, we made it. We made it. Okay, now other praise. Uh, praise Gideon for taking on financial viability for the TC. Praise uh, praise Vitor for and Wesley for the emergency support we found uh, the, when when we found a bug in token log. Praise Anne and uh, uh, praise Anne for leading the Think Like a Commoner book club. Super exciting uh, event there. Praise Austin for his enthusiasm and help in the partnership between Region and CS Book Club. Praise our homes for the attention, uh, for their attention in the Panvala Activity Fund. And praise Marco for supporting our submission. Praise Niran for all the, and all the other Panvala stewards for their work uh, to make the Panvala endowment so accessible to us and other builders in the community. Praise Jue and Nuggin for their great work on making the RAD dashboard. Praise Christopher for all the coordination in the, in the reward system process. Praise Mitch for stewarding the reward systems working group and cat hurting everybody. Praise Matty G for leading the development of the reward system. Praise Nebs for all the back end, uh, back end development. Praise Durgadas, Dan, Lean, Morgan, Jeremy, Lowy, and Wonka for being facilitators in the third Graviton training. Praise Raf for preparing for being just a great lawyer and preparing all the legal documents that and changes that we needed for the association and General Assembly and helping to lead the General Assembly. Praise all the trusted seed members uh, for who attended the General Assembly. This is 
Letty, Simon de la Rubier, Joel, Jean, uh, uh, Quatre, Julio, Sid Code, uh, a Andrew, Random Shinichi, uh, Andreas Fletcher, Pythagorean, Chris Jones, Jeff Emmett, Christopher, Max, Jess, uh, Will, Will Ruddick, and uh, and probably many others. Uh, we'll we'll get all this praise out there. Uh, Teresa, uh, praise Teresa and Boonju for writing and reviewing the content ownership agreement. Praise all the trusted seed members who are actively participating in voting. We have an incredible voting turnout. Well over 25% at this point of tokens actually have voted. And uh, uh, last I checked, it was about 65 members have voted. And we'll and we still have hasn't even we still have two days left. Uh, Praise, praise Maria for always taking care of our trusted seed members and all the data and just being a great gardener and supporting supporting the trusted seed with all of her efforts. Uh, praise Heather for helping us find and hire Rachel. Uh, so I'm glad to have you on the team, Rachel. And praise Martin and Jihad for inviting Tam to the Ownership Economy podcast and making such a great podcast. Uh, thank you all for coming and listening to that wrap. Man, there's so much to praise, so much praise to go around uh, and w such a great sprint, momentous, huge sprint. This was an epic sprint. The General Assembly, the trust, the the CS, our first real CS DAO vote effectively with quadratic uh, with um, token log, and just so many amazing milestones hit this sprint. So it was one for the it was one for the record books, one for YouTube to enjoy. Uh, thank you all for coming, and we'll see you next sprint. Bye, everyone.